Welcome to another Ghosty Manor construction update. A few things to show you on this one. We've been nice and busy, uh, especially inside the ride area where we're going to have a quick look at the ride actually being installed into Ghostly Manor. So at the front here, this is new, we've created this concrete pad and just behind me here you can see a fountain uh, and this has been made in-house by us uh, and it's been ready to be lifted in now. We've got some power to it here in the middle and this will have some gargoyle heads on, spitting water out and again we'll create a nice entrance plaza to Ghostly Manor. We're nearly ready to install the sign, it's looking really really good, we're really happy with it. Uh, it should be arriving in the next few weeks and then we'll have a lovely entrance portal to show you on the next video. Not much has changed out here in the queue line. The good news is that our theming artists are now back on site. Uh, they've got all the paint they need, so very soon we're going to start painting all of the facade. You can see some fresh concrete's been added to that post over there, so really moving on out here, and hopefully in a, in a week or two we'll be able to show you some finished theming. Inside the queue line, there's been a few changes. We've varnished the wooden panelling all along the bottom, and in the next few weeks we'll be adding the wallpaper into the queue line and that's going to really transform this area. We're now inside the ride area. This is Nick, one of our engineers at the park. Uh, Nick is actually part of the team that's installing the ride and he's going to have a little walk around with us and explain what's going on in here. So Nick, what are we looking at in here? So currently we're at the first stages of the build. Um, yep. The first thing we had to do was install uh, what we call the pickup rail. Um, on here has got everything from mains power on this side of the rail. Up here you've got your data connections and then you've got some extra lives and neutrals for the Largotronic side of things for all the effects that are going to be on the uh, on the gondolas. So. And this is where the gondola talks back to the ride control yes, system yes, so. and that's what controls the ride. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So everything, all the cables will be running around. There's a couple of ducts over there that we're going to go into. And then, yeah, all up into the control room upstairs. And just behind us here, we've got one of the platforms that the gondola sits yes, on. Yes, I believe we're waiting for another section here. Yep. Um, but yes, the five gondolas that we're going to have are going to be made up of this effectively like a jigsaw puzzle yep. style platform. Um, awesome. This will be where, so this pickup rail will be in here yep. and be picking up off of here. Um, your gondola will be here and then like I say all the interactive side of the ride will be fed up through through all of this so yeah very it's going to cool. be it's very exciting and how does it move around I spot a motor uh, yes, so we've got here. Uh, six motors in these pits here and yeah it'll be a very slow drive around yep. being uh, yeah, driven by those. Exciting. It is. <laughs> we're bringing the uh, two main power cables to each of these boxes. And as I say, then all the data cables will then be linked up through. So we've Amazing. got effectively um, five different sections of power here. Yep. Um, so we'll be able to turn off each of these individually. Uh, you then got the communication rail, which goes all the way around. Um, and then a few other bits in there as well. It's good to see how it all comes together, how yep. it all works. So. Like a big Lego set. It is, effectively, yeah. It is a giant giant Lego set, cool. which is great fun. <laughs> it's just one large ring, really. So all the cables run back around the ring to these ducts, and yes. then where do these go? Uh, so all of these, so these ducts will then go behind this wall here, um, and then they come up through a tray system, which then disappears up into the main control room up there. We're going to head up to the control room now and take a look at what Nick was explaining and where all the cables go back to. As Nick was explaining, these are all the cables that come up through the ducts and up the cable trays and through here. They go into the cabinet and this is where the ride is controlled, this is where all the software is kept and where the ride control system looks after the ride, monitors all the sensors, keeps everyone safe and enjoying Ghostly Manor. And from up here you get a fantastic view. So you can see the gantry there where all the projectors and theming will be installed. And of course around the outside you've got your large 10 metre wide screens as well that will be projected onto. In here we've created a small staging area and this is where a lot of the ride parts are being kept waiting for install. Various things, trunking and bits of platform and behind me here we've actually got the ride operators kiosk uh, operator panel as well. Thanks for joining me on this tour of Goki Manor. Really exciting to see the ride being installed. Join me next time where we're going to have a look at the actual ride vehicles being installed and we're going to give you a look at those inside Goki Manor.